Question 1. Explain clinical research. Answer. Clinical research refers to any kind of investigation in human subjects which aims to discover or check the clinical, pharmacological, and other pharmacodynamic effects of an investigational product. Question 2. Why SAP is important? Answer. SAP is the document that contains detailed information regarding the statistical methods and study objectives to help in the production of the clinical study report CSR, including figures, summary tables, and subject data listings for protocol. Documentation of the program variables and algorithms that will be used to generate summary statistics and statistical analysis are also contained in this. Question 3. What do you understand by CRT? Answer. CRT means case report tabulation. CRTs are sent to the FDA whenever a pharmaceutical company is submitting an NDA. Question 4. What are all the procs you know? Answer. I know about many procedures like proc sort, proc report, proc format etc. I have generated the list report using the proc report. In this procedure I used subject as order variable and SBD, TRT underscore GRP, DBD as display variables. Question 5. Explain verification. Answer. Verification ensures the accuracy of the final tables and the quality of SHASH programs which generates the final tables. I selected the subset of the final summary tables for verification according to the instructions SOP and SAP. Question 6. Explain CRM. Answer. CRM means clinical research managers. They supervise informed consent forms for clinical trials, case report forms and design and writing of protocols. CRM ensures that case report forms are reviewed timely and submitted to the data management group. Question 7. Will I be paid to participate in the clinical trial or is there a cost to participate? Answer. Compensation for participants is unique with each clinical trial and each sponsoring partner. This is a question that should be discussed with the researcher when considering participating in a clinical trial. The experimental compound as well as tests and procedures associated with the trial are usually provided at no cost to the participant. In most cases, the cost of routine tests and procedures, not associated with the trial, are the responsibility of the participant, or the participant's insurance carrier. Question 8. What is a protocol? Answer. A protocol is the study plan on which the clinical trial is based. Each trial is carefully designed to safeguard the health of participants as well as answer specific research questions. The protocol describes in detail what types of people may participate in the trial, the schedule of tests, procedures, medications, dosages, and length of the study. Question 9. What is a placebo? Answer. A placebo is an inactive pill, liquid or powder that has no treatment value. In a placebo-controlled trial, some portion of the participants will receive placebo instead of an active drug or experimental treatment to assess the experimental treatment's effectiveness and safety relative to no treatment at all. Question 10. What is a control or control group? Answer. A control is the standard by which experimental observations are evaluated. In many clinical trials, one group of patients will be given an experimental drug or treatment, while the control group is given either a standard treatment for the illness or a placebo. Question 11. What are the phases of clinical trials? Answer. Clinical trials are conducted in a series of stages, called phases, each having specific goals. This process provides information about the treatment in a controlled process intended to also protect the participants. The number of participants in each phase of the trial may be based on the overall incidence of the condition being studied. Question 12. What are side effects and adverse reactions? Answer. Side effects include any undesired actions or effects of a drug or treatment. Experimental drugs must be evaluated for both immediate and long-term side effects. 
Question 13. Can a participant leave a clinical trial at any point? Answer. Yes, a participant can leave a clinical trial at any time. The participant should let the research team know when withdrawing from the trial and the reasons for leaving the study. Question 14. Who sponsors a clinical trial? Answer. Clinical trials can be sponsored or funded by a variety of organizations or individuals including physicians, medical institutions, foundations, voluntary groups, and pharmaceutical companies, in addition to government agencies such as the National Institutes of Health NI, the Department of Defense DOD, Human Health and Services HHS, and the Department of Veterans Affairs VA.